Welcome! In this video, I'm showcasing the February My Monthly Hero Kit because I like the sentiments. Let your light shine, you make my world brighter, and peace. Coming up next on Catherine Paper Art. So today I'm making a card and I'm using the Hero Arts February My Monthly Hero Kit. Um, so I've got the sun stencil here. And I, well, this is a different kind of sun stencil than I than the others that I have, which I like this one because it has slender rays. So I'm going to do something more colorful than your typical yellow sun stencil card. Of course, I'm going to start out yellow here with the sun, but when. When I get to the rays, I'm going to do something more along the lines of rainbow color. It's not going to be in rainbow order, and it's not going to be all the colors of a rainbow either, but uh, it'll be something like that. I'll finish inking this up off screen and I'll be right back. I'm using some Pink Fresh ink and I'm starting with Lemon Whip and I'm going next with Sunshine, appropriate for the sun. And then I'll be adding a little bit of their Sweet Mustard also. So I'll finish doing this off screen like I said and be right back. So I've added some other colors. I put in some bubble gum and some clementine, also pink fresh. And now I am adding some wisteria. So I'll continue to do this and be right back. So I've just heat embossed it. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not, but it's very pretty. And um, now I need to, when it's cooled, I'll brush it off and get the loose stuff off. And then I'll trim it down to size. So I'll be right back. Okay, so. I'm at this point in the card where I've just stamped the sentiment. And I have to say that I really was indecisive about stamping the sentiment because ordinarily I would just say I'll stamp it in black and be done with it. But the black is just so overwhelming because the, the font is rather thick and with all the doodads surrounding the text, it, it's just very heavy looking, and black would just be too overwhelming for this light, this light, you know, image. So I, I said, let me see what else I can try. So I tried Hero Arts Silver, and I, I tried a bunch of colors, but I pretty much landed on the Hero Art Silver. But then when I put it up against the card, it just made the card go gray and dull. So I said, well, let me try my gold, which got totally covered in embossing powder. <laughs> but it was just a test sample. But it kind of went brown instead of gold. That was the color box. So I said, let me try the Delicata um, Golden Glitz. So I did, and it came out beautiful until I decided to heat emboss it and clear. And then it like washed out. So I said, let me try the Golden Glitz again, but don't emboss it. We'll see what it looks like after it dries. And if I'm happy with it when it dries, 
the way it is, I'll, I'll just use it that way. If I think it needs a little more shine after it dries, then maybe I'll entertain the idea of trying to emboss it. Um, otherwise, <laughs> I'll have to redo it. So we'll see how it goes um, off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, I really didn't like the golden glitz sentiment. When it dried fully, it really ended up looking very coppery to the point of turning brown. So um, what I did was I stamped a separate sentiment in the silver and I heat embossed it and I cut two circles, one to cover over the <laughs> messed up sentiment and another with the new sentiment in the silver to put on top of it. And I'm okay with that actually. So I'm going to ink up the edge with the same the same yellow that I've used, the lemon whip from Pink Fresh, and glue this on and I'll be right back. Okay. That's as straight as I'm going to get it. And now I will go ahead and mat it, which I've already got my mat cut. And and the mat is really what was the driving force behind the <laughs> color of the sentiment. I didn't want to go with a yellow and I didn't want to go with anything really dark. I really wanted to keep a sky blue kind of color because I, I really wanted this, you know, to be a blue sky. So anyway, I'll go ahead and mat this and be right back. Okay, that's the finished card matted. I did not put an inside sentiment in. More and more, it seems my husband and I just prefer a blank card on the inside, uh, but I could easily put any sentiment in there. It could be a birthday card. It could be an encouragement card. It could be graduation card it could be anything so um, leaving it blank just leaves it open for any future possibility so that's the first card here's my second card which I made off screen and I mounted this on a black card base and also left it blank on the inside but you can see how heavy the font is when it's in black and I embossed this. I don't know if you can, you can probably see that. Um, and that's why I mounted it. I mean, the, with the black, that's why I mounted it on a black card base just to help tie it in. And I think it looks okay, actually. Um, ties it all together, so I, I, I think the black card base helps, helps make it seem less heavy, but uh, it's pretty all the same. So now I'll go on to the third card. This is another card, a brighter card, and I am now embossing it. Well, I'm adding the embossing dabber the clear sticky ink to put the embossing powder on momentarily the glitter clear glitter combination that i made so i'll finish this off screen and be right back 
Okay, that um, came out pretty nice. I don't, I don't know if you can see the glitter in there. It's very pretty anyway. So now we'll do the sentiment. So here's my card, and as I said, I will pick out a sentiment, which there's only two, so it's either going to be Brighter World or Let Your Light Shine. And I think Brighter World, maybe. Or <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it Brighter World. It's you make my world brighter. I guess the Brighter World's okay. But here again now, I am stuck with the conundrum of the color for the sentiment. So we've seen the first one in silver, which really goes gray, and the second one in black. This card is different because it's brighter and lends itself to more possibilities. So I'll think about this and be right back. Okay, this is the finished card. So I die cut. The sentiment, and this is from the um, Hero Arts February My Hero Kit. Um, and I don't, here it is. It's, I don't know what, what it's called, if it has a name, but it's, um, I don't know, it's a peace, love, and understanding kind of thing. And uh, so I think it came out pretty nice. And it solved the issue of what color should the, should the sentiment be. So there's three different cards. And uh, definitely three different looks. Very similar cards since they all have the sun rays. I didn't want to do a rainbow. Um, I just did random colors. I, I chose colors, I, I don't know if you ever see a morning sunrise or an evening sunset, but I, here in Boston, we do get pink and purple, orange and yellow in the sky, and we get it all at the same time, if the uh, conditions are right. That's really what I was going for in a, against a blue sky, but... Um, didn't quite come out like I anticipated, but pretty cards, just the same. So I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please leave us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.